looking at potentially purchasing a new car or a used car and you want to know exactly what it's going to cost before you even go to the dealership, I'm going to show you a calculator that we created to help you do just that. We created it. It's on the website. There'll be a link to it and I'm going to explain how it works. There's two cool features. One, it's going to go through all the typical information that you'll put with the price. I'll walk you through that and then it breaks out in a graphic form. You'll see it visually what you're going to end up paying. It breaks it down in a summary form and then it has an amortization table which shows you every single month. The other thing that I think is interesting because this drives me nuts when you go into a car dealership is they like to come at you and say, don't worry about the price. How much can you afford every month? First of all, you don't want to play that game because you do care about the price. But when they do that, I've got a second part of the calculator where you put in the monthly payment, some additional information like the interest rate, and it will tell you what the price of the car is going to be. Oftentimes when they do that sort of a negotiation, they'll come to you, they'll give you a piece of paper with multiple payment options. And then if you say, well, let me think about it, I'll take this home with me, they'll go, no, 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 you can't take the paper home with you. Well, when they're not around, take a picture of it, take it home or pull up my calculator on your phone and do it right there and you'll know exactly what the car price is. You can go online, you can check, see if it's a good value or not. I'm Brian, thank you for joining the channel. I hope by the end of this you'll become a subscriber and you'll watch the shows. I've got multiple videos on how to get out of debt and then videos three days a week. We talk about the economy, interest rates, how to save money and how to preserve your wealth like the rich do. So please smash that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Now, this is what you're going to see in a moment. I'll show you the calculator, exactly how it works. On the one side, you'll be able to put in everything. The price of the car, the loan term, 60 months, 48 months, whatever it may be. Are there cash incentives? If you look at their website, you might see military incentive, you might see an AARP incentive or a college student incentive, whatever they be, you can enter that in. Down payment, do you intend to put one? Why do we have all these fields? We have all these fields in the calculator because I want you to see exactly what it's going to cost. More importantly, I want you to fool around with these, for example, down payment, and then see what your ultimate price is going to be. Because when you hit calculate, it's going to tell you the amount of interest you're going to pay as well. That's important. You can't change the price. Once you decide on a price, that's what you're paying. But you can adjust the interest depending upon how much you're actually taking a loan out for. You can put in, do you have a trade-in? What? How much do you think the trade-in's worth? Let's say you look and you say, oh, I think my trade-in, I, I want to get about 12000 for my trade-in. I owe $4,000 on the car. I haven't paid it off yet. So you can put the trade-in amount. I want 12000 What do you owe? Well, I owe four. That way, when you're talking to them, you can actually print out the results of this calculator and take it with you and say, these are the numbers I need. Um, and then you add in the sales tax. You'll have to look up for your state. And then fees and documentation. They always have that. Well, we have to add in fees and documentation fees, blah, blah, blah. Whatever that number is, you put it in here. And then do you want to include it in the loan? Usually people say yes. In other words, you want to include these document, these fees into the loan itself, or do you want to pay them, which will become part of your down payment? You can choose all of that. And again, it'll spit out all the data. Here's the other part, which is cool. This is where all you've got to put into your monthly payment, your interest rate, there's some other options, and it's going to spit out the price. And then you can go online and say, wait a second. It says that the average price for this car is 32 to 36. I just put in the payment and rate you want me to pay. And you're telling me I'm going to pay 42? No, that's not happening. So now you can equalize the playing field by putting in this information. Now let's take a look at the calculator to show you exactly how to use it. So here we are at the home page. Up on the right, you'll see calculators. We're adding new calculators all the time. The one we're talking about today is this auto loan calculator. And you'll see at the top, we'll be adding some text. Probably this change, I should say this page can change over time. Here's the total price, or you can choose the monthly payment option. We'll go over both briefly. So total price, let's just say it's a car, around $30,000. Loan term, you can put in any number you want. A common is five years or 60 months. Interest rate, what are the current interest rates? Cash incentives, for example, you might go on the dealer's website and you might see that Toyota's offering $500 uh, for a co recent college graduates. We'll just leave zero at the moment. Down payment. Are you putting a down payment? Let's just put a small down payment there. Trade in value. Well, you might have a car. You might say, I think my car is worth $10,000, but I still owe $3,500 on the loan. So that's where this trade in value is. I think it's worth ten. dollars Do you owe anything on it? Yeah, I owe $3,500. It'll do the math for you. 
For the moment, let's keep this simple, we'll do zero. And I'll show you how we can change things like down payment, it'll change the results. State, don't worry about these at the moment, other than sales tax, you're gonna have to look it up because we found that there are so many different sales tax rates, obviously, and they change all the time. Documentation fee is that wonderful fee that dealers like to put on. We don't know what it means, it's just a way of them making more money. So usually there is a documentation fee. You probably won't find that out until you're at the dealership. Uh, include all fees in the loan. That means that these fees will be in the loan. So if the loan's gonna calculate for 30, it'll be for 31. You can say, don't put it into the loan, but then you have to pay that when you give them your down payment. So let's just put the fees in the loan. All right, calculate, here we go. On the right hand side, it'll show you your monthly payment. You know exactly what it's gonna be, 609. The total loan amount, $30,050. Sales tax, $1,050. Upfront payment, $2,000 because you said that's what your down payment was gonna be. Now, if you notice here, why is it $30,050? Well, sales tax was $1,050. You put $2,000 down, but then we included $1,000 in the fees. So that means $2,000. 1,000, you only lowered it by $1,000, and then sales tax was 1,050. So the total price is 30,050, it's taking everything into account. So that's gonna be your loan amount. I'm sorry, not, it's not the total price, that's the loan amount, 30,050. Sales tax, 1,050, you put 2,000 down, that sales tax is included in the loan. Total of loan payments. So by the time you've made all of your payments, $609 for a total of 60 months, that's what you would pay. So your interest is $6,508. That's the number we're gonna to try to modify, right? Can't change the price of the car, but you can fool with the interest. All right, total cost, price, interest, tax, fees, everything at the end of the day. And why is it 38558? Because it was 36558 total of your loan payments had your interest, and then you included the upfront payment of 2,000. So you paid a total of $38,558. If you wanna know how it breaks down, here it is, 18% of its interest, 82% is principal. Here's the most interesting part. You can see here it's showing you as you make your payments, the first payment, interest at 200, principal at 400, and then the remaining balance is this purple line. So the green line, as it goes up, that's how much is you're paying the principal down. The interest, that's how much you're paying in interest over time. And then the total cost of the car, the purple line, of course, going down, because green is principal. So as you're paying more of the car off, the total you owe is going down. It's just a cool graphic, but here's what matters. The amortization schedule, it shows you every row is a month. So the first month, you're paying $609. You're paying 609 every single month. First month, 200 goes to interest, Principles 409. If you've watched my videos before, you know that over time, of course, the interest is going down. Why? Because the 8% interest is on the balance, and the balance is going down. So 8% of 29,000 is more than 8% of 27,000. Therefore, interest goes from 200 to 184, which means instead of paying down 409, you're now paying down 426. You get the idea. And it should end at 60 months. If you just want to take a quick glance and look at the years, here it is, five years, 60 months. This is how much interest and principal you're going to pay every year. And this is what your balance will be at the end of each year. I love doing this if you happen to put together budgeting, if you watch some of my shows and you want to see what do you owe at the end of each year, it's going down significantly. All right, so you can change the price, you can change the interest rate, you can change the term, you can change the down payment, and it can make quite a difference. Let's just say, for sake of argument, that you put 2,000 down, you traded in a car worth 10, and you didn't know anything on it, you had it paid off. Now this is interesting. If you go up here, your monthly payment is gonna drop by essentially $200, makes sense. Your total loan amount, since you put 10 down, went down by 10. Sales tax is the same, because the sales tax is on the price of the car, not the price of the loan. You got your upfront, we said we put 2,000 down, total amount of payments, total interest, 4343. Now. What's interesting here is obviously you can see the interest went down by $2,000. So overall, you're gonna save two grand and you're gonna be paying $400 a month. So you can see how you can easily change these things. I'm just curious. Let's just say, what if we got a 5% interest rate? 
what would that do? Well, total loan interest, 2652, and it drops the payment from 409 to 378. Interest rates can vary for various reasons, uh, the biggest one being your credit scores. All right, second thing, we'll go through this quickly. What if we just wanted to look at the monthly payment? Let's say the dealer says, you know what? We can get you a $500 monthly payment, 8% interest rate. You're putting anything down, no trade-in, no. Actually, let's do the 2,000 down payment like we did before. Um, 3.5, 1,000 on the loan. So we're gonna say, we don't know, what's the price of this car? They're not telling us the price. They're just telling us a, pay, a down payment. I'm sorry, they're just telling us a monthly payment. Hey, we can make it $500. Would that work for you? Typical sales stuff, 60 months, 8%. If that works for you, we'll sell you the car. And you're like, what am I paying for this car? Hit calculate and there you go. The total loan amount for this car would be $24,659. Got your sales tax, your upfront payment. And so the total price, the vehicle price was $24,792. What if they came at you and said, it'll be $750 a month. Does that fit your bill, uh, your budget? You calculate and you go, oh, that vehicle price is $36,704. Total payments is going to be forty-seven thousand dollars. So this is interesting because you can see very quickly by just putting in the monthly payment. Because a lot of car salesmen like to use that tactic, where they just give you the payment number, the number of payments, get the interest rate, come down here if you're adding anything else in, hit calculate. And it's going to tell you that vehicle price. Then you can go online and say, wait a second, most of these cars sell for about thirty-two thousand new. They want thirty-six thousand. They're trying to cheat you. They're trying to cheat you by giving you a monthly payment and not telling you the price, but this calculator will tell you the price. Last thing, just real quick, I did this calculator in another video, but if you go to calculators, you scroll down and you've got the auto loan early payoff calculator. This is great because you can put in your loan and you can say, would you add to your monthly payment? That way you might say to yourself, well, I want a car. I only want to pay around 300, but sometimes I can pay 500 to so get a car for a payment of 300 a month on the other calculator. Let's say you're able to add $200 every month. You can calculate, it'll tell you how much you're going to save. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. We've got more calculators. We're adding them all the time. Please leave any comments or questions below. I hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching.